Um, is, one, is there a need for a way to say things that get forgotten quickly that don't travel very far? Is, is that something that we ought to be um, trying to encourage, rather than just telling people, look, whatever you <coughs> say, it can have consequences? And the other thing, is potentially one way of doing that by using um, software that attempts to keep you anonymous or pseudonymous? So if I, if I want to say something against my company, and I take reasonable steps that people can't tell it's me and can't tell I'm an employee, is that in, in some way being more responsible? What do we think about that? <laughs> I, I would, uh, John, uh, yeah, go, I go. I, are we going to keep going? <laughs> I'm hoping we're all not going to agree on No, I really regret sitting on the end here. <laughs> quite nice to be further along that way. But um, I mean, I guess with the, um, the sort of temporary shelf life comment that you've described or posed as a possibility, it's kind of Snapchat, really. I don't know, I don't use Snapchat because I'm about 100 years too old, but my children certainly do. And <laughs> they, uh, it's an interesting business model, it seems to me, that there is something that is interesting enough to film in the first place, but not so interesting that it should ever be kept. Um, <clears throat> which I think says something about where, where it grew up. So that idea kind of exists, the idea of the temporary remark. Um, query how successful it is. There's all sorts of stories about it being hacked and so on. I think the, the other thing you, we may segue into is a discussion about the right to be forgotten, which is quite high, high profile in terms of your ability to have this digital history of everything you ever said about your employer or whomever kind of taken down off the internet at the press of a button. There's all sorts of issues with that that we could get into. Um, on your other point about should you have the right to be able to well, actually, you didn't say, should you have the right? Should you have the right to be able to go out there and say things anonymously? Um, for me, that isn't a right. I, I wouldn't put it as you should have that right. I think the question is, um, should you get into all sorts of trouble if you do do that, which is a slightly different emphasis. Uh, there's all sorts of issues. Once you have anonymous content, then... Um, um, and the ability to say something anonymously about somebody else in World War II got you shot. You could say, oh, so-and-so is an uh, informer or whatever. And they're culturally in Europe, there are all sorts of reasons why people really, really throw up on the idea of the anonymity, meaning that it's decoupled from a sense of responsibility in terms of what you say. So it's complicated. Personally, I think, if you, I think you should be man enough to put your name to it if you're, if you're going to say it. OK, well, <laughs> sometimes I don't feel like putting my name to it. I have half a dozen accounts in Twitter that I've used over the years because I wanted to say things that needed to be said but didn't need to be associated with my name or with my company. Um, quite frankly, most of my accounts were started as social accounts for me, but then because of my role as an advocate, as a, as a company representative, got associated with the company. So. Sometimes, and this is a rare <coughs> thing, I, I have things that I need to say about people, about companies, about events that I don't want to have associated with my main account. So I created these pseudonyms. I think that that is a necessary part of our culture, not just European, but worldwide, that sometimes you have things that need to be said that ha go outside of your normal persona and yes, I do mean persona. We have personas that we, we deal with on a daily basis. But I wouldn't even consider that anonymous a lot of the time. Your, your question well, was about anonymity. Nobody knows, well, in, in most cases, nobody knows who's actually behind that account. They can reply? What's that? They could reply to you, I guess. They could, they could but then, uh, then it's up to me to have enough uh, security operations savvy to not respond and not give them that, that information. But the other thing is, really, there is no such thing as an anonymous account. Yes, you may not be able to figure out who's behind it, but if GCHQ wants to find out, if NSA, if law enforcement wants mm -hmm. to find out, and quite frankly, even if we have a right to be forgotten, none of those agencies are going to forget anything we've ever said, ever, from this point forward. It's being recorded, so there is no anonymity any more than there is privacy in this day and age. It's a forgotten concept as we thought of it 20 years ago, even 10 years ago. Um, 
we either need to figure out a way going forward to reclaim some of that privacy, some of that anonymity, or we need to develop new social structures with the understanding that those are gone and everything you say will be used against you in the future.